Build Show is on the road today. Coming to you from Alabama, we're gonna go visit my builder buddy, Will King. What's going on with the fire trucks on the job site though? All right, watch this. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Will! What are you Whoa. doing? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Nearly had a heart attack. What are you doing? This is not oh, your work man. track. Yeah, it's not, but it used to be. Remember, 10 years in the fire service, and here we are. I got some friends, dude. We're testing a house today. What exactly yeah. is going on? Hey, 2,000 gallons on the roof. Why not? That's a great show, right? Go it's a good on. test. I love it. The build show. Let's get going. All right, guys, the build show from the high lift at Will's job. Will, what have you set up for us today, man? This is awesome. It's, a, it's wild, dude. We've got two fire trucks behind us. We got a 75 foot aerial truck here. We also have a 1500 gallon tanker feeding it. And so <laughs> up in the air here is our master stream. You can see the fireman here behind me, but we're gonna test it, man. We're gonna about to dump. When we turn this nozzle on, we're gonna empty the tanker, all 1500 gallons on this roof and see what it does. I love it. So this is a sealed roof assembly, part of the fortified program, where the idea is, you know, if we're in a zone where a hurricane or a tornado hits, it's gonna peel off your roof, especially with an asphalt shingle roof. So underneath that, it's really important to have a sealed roof deck. That's right. right? And the difference between a sealed and non-sealed roof is probably the difference between a total loss on the house with mm -hmm. massive amounts of water. And this roof that's sealed, we'll have some nail holes maybe that, that are unsealed if the roof goes right. off, but we're not gonna get nearly the amount of water we would had we not done that. And what you can't see underneath here is that when Will's crew put the zip system roof down, they taped all the seams and then they went off on top of that in, in the more vulnerable areas have the peel and stick underlayment, but the whole roof doesn't have that. That's right. We're gonna go into the details a little bit, but I say we dump some water on this. I'm thing. ready, man. Think? Let's dump it. You ready? All you right, sure? let's, All right, let's go. Will, 1,500 gallons on the roof. Pretty impressive, dude. I think it held up. I can't wait to go in there and look. I think it definitely <laughs> held up. No product sluice. I mean, I will say that. No, yeah. no people that can No moved. flapping, nothing's Nothing. moved. No. Talk me through the assembly. You know, when we think about water and the path of water on the house, sometimes people think top down or roof down, but as builders, we actually think bottom up because that's shingle style, right? You don't start shingling your roof at the top and work your way down. You start at the yep. eaves yep. and work your way up. So walk us through what you've done on this roof, Yeah, uh, starting with the bottom and working our way up. So you can see we, we already have our fascia board installed, Matt, and yep. that's our drip edge. It's already installed. And that's a part of the fortified standard, by the way, is okay. the drip edge requirement. So your metal drip edge is on there already and you taped that. We, yep, it's taped down. And then you know this lower pitch roof that you can see it also it has the half inch zip panel underneath and that's been taped of course yep um, and all the low slope areas on this house are getting the peel and stick um, to start with so continuing our way up it also comes up these dormers and that and dormers have always been a problem area right yeah. and we've all had our horror story of a dormer For leak sure. at some point and then you learn how to do it the right way <laughs> But so you can see the peel and stick wraps up the face of the dormer and up the side too. We went ahead and cut a piece and ripped it all the way up the side of That's that awesome. dormer um, and then terminated it with zip tape onto the sidewall there. And I'd also point out that where the pitch changes, right? You've got, a, I don't know, is that a 212 down yep, there or yep, a 312 yep. maybe? Where that changes to this higher 16, pitch. 1612, yeah. Holy cow, yeah, 1612. Yep. Remind me not to ever walk on that. <laughs> I would be peeing my pants. So where that pitch change happens, You've also got your zip system uh, peel and stick underlayment up right. the face of that on that mm -hmm. pitch change. 
so that any transition there is going to be nice and waterproof. And then that's also going to act as an ice and water shield too on the occasional ice day you might get. And it happens in Alabama. And I've had a, a leak last year actually on a project that we had a huge snow and ice and it collected on a low pitch roof at a transition in a valley. There you go. And, and so lesson learned. And, and in fact, we may even add more peel and stick on the sides of that valley where it terminates into this low pitch yep. just so that won't happen to us again in the future. But um, and, then, and then these dormers, Matt, they're, you can tell they're actually a little bit curved, right? Oh, so yeah, you got a curve on that. It's kind of sure. a weird design, you know, as far as water, you know, you're kind of going down and back up. So we decided just for a belt and suspenders approach, just to go ahead and put that peel and stick on That's right. all four of these dormers across here. So. And then I also want to point out, Will, where your uh, peel and stick iron limit goes on to your horizontal, or pardon me, your uh, vertical surface rather, yes. where you're probably going to have some kind of siding. You've taped that yep. with some zip tape. That's right. So you've got two different products on there. The mm -hmm. peel and stick underlayment is a rubberized asphalt uh, yes. adhesive, uh, and that works great, but even better is that acrylic tape, and they work with slightly different chemistry and slightly different weather. Yep. So now you've transitioned with that peel and stick, or pardon me, with the uh, Huber flashing tape on there, which is the acrylic. Yep. No fish mouthing, nothing's gonna get unstuck, that's gonna mm -hmm. stick perfectly, and you get to roll that down to yep. wet that adhesive and get that pressure and, sensitive adhesive. And terminating on that on a vertical wall um, is in the install manual for the peel and stick, so it's yep. important to point that out. But I'll tell you, that's a great way to talk about cold weather installation of peel and stick. And um, it, you know, we are in Alabama, but it does get cold here, believe it or not. I yep. know everybody thinks we're just hot all the time, but yesterday it was in you know 30s, 40s, and so, uh, sometimes peel and stick gets a little hard to work with in cold tips. And so yeah. actually some of these dormers, we we had to nail it. We had to put tack strips in the top, uh, maybe three inches of it, and then shingle the next piece of peel and stick. Um, and you can also use the zip tape to terminate it. So any of your colder colder zones are working with this in the winter. It's something that people need to remember when using peel and stick. It's totally compatible with um, Huber's flashing tape, the yep. four inch yep. panel tape, but not liquid flash. And a little pro tip that I point out for the viewers too, where he transitions from roof to wall right there. You see, he's got it nice and tight in the corner. There's no uh, waviness in there. There's not a big bubble. Uh, mm -hmm. They've got it nice and tight into the corner. That way, everything when they come in will fit nicely. Yep. I've seen some jobs where those are, are kind of bubbled and it's really easy to cut that waterproofing uh, by yeah. accident by shoving something in there, a sure. valley metal or something else. So by keeping that nice and tight in there, uh, yeah. You're good to go, Will. Yeah, and I mean, if we go ahead and, and up the rest of the roof is just our panels all the way to the ridge. And, you know, we also talk about water going down and out. It gets in that same conversation. We're missing our gutters, but you can see all the water we just sprayed completely disappeared down the gravel of our foundation wall and yeah. out our foundation drain that goes around back on the daylight side of this basement. So that's fantastic. Um, yeah, once we get gutters, the downspouts will even help with that more. So. The other thing I want to point out is uh, the high cotton crew that did this project, they taped all the seams and then they did the peel and stick underlayment, That's right. which means they're going to qualify for zips leak free guarantee, which you can, I'll, I'll lace in the website. You can learn more about that, but that's just another peace of mind for his homeowners uh, in the future that this house is not going to have issues. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it's just on the areas that you use it, you know, you can do it a whole roof in peel and stick and do the, the guarantee on the whole roof, or you can just do it in the, I guess, um, critical areas and, and you still get that guarantee for your roof. Yep. The last thing I want to mention too, Will, I understand there's been some code changes for you in Alabama and uh, some of our neighbors building in Louisiana where this fortified roof program is actually becoming code mandated mm -hmm. in the entire state. So you're ahead of the curve by doing this Yep. Uh, and other builders in the states of Alabama and Louisiana are going to learn how to do this. That's right. Yeah, that's a great program. And the guys at Fortified can walk you through the whole process. And, and what a discount for the homeowners. We could do a whole video about Fortified and maybe we should, but great program to get into. For and sure. I hope that the whole state gets on board with it soon. Hey, Will, why don't we bring the lift down? Let's go see if we see anything on the inside and we'll wrap the video. We'll see you down there. All right, Will, I think that demonstrated the power of zip system sheathing tape and peel and stick against a pretty serious deluge out there. Yeah. They're looking good inside. Yeah, pretty dry. I mean, it's 1,500 gallons of water all dropped on the roof. So and I we think did deluge it. We actually is, did it twice is, for B-roll too, yeah. so it was 3,000 gallons true, of water. It's a lot, yep. Now let's rewind time a little bit. Had you had your shingles on and uh, you know, a hurricane came through, ripped off those shingles, right. 
in reality, we would have some drips in the house, right? Because those nails nailing those shingles on would be ripped out with some of the shingles. So you'd have some water in the house. But if you've ever seen the insurance videos mm -hmm. of a side-by-side, -side, a house with taped roof seams, a sealed roof deck, versus a standard roof that had regular underlayment, you know, the 30 pound tar paper, let's say, where the tar paper rips off with the shingles, the water just pours in at the seams. Mm -hmm. And it's a massive multi, multi thousand dollar loss for the house. I mean, your furniture is getting thrown out. Your floors are going to be all buckling and messed up. Whereas this system for these homeowners, if that event happened, we'd get a couple of drips through some of those nail holes that were ripped out from the shingles going away. But this house would remain majority dry. And you got to point out there too, in the event of a natural disaster, it's not like you can just call a roofer and they're going to come tarp your house immediately. You may have to be exposed for two weeks before a roofer That's can a actually point. get to you. And yeah. I've seen that when tornadoes come through Alabama, roofing companies are totally overwhelmed. And so if you're exposed with just a sealed roof deck, maybe you do have some drips, but you're not going to lose your house over it though. Yeah. That's a great point, man. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I do want to mention that uh, Huber has a leak free guarantee if you use their full system. So if you've got uh, zip system sheathing, you've taped all that, and then you've gone on top of the peel and stick underlayment, you do that on your entire roof and you can take advantage of their uh, leak free guarantee. I'll put that on a website below so you can learn more about that. And you can also get it if you just put it in the critical areas that we talked about, you still get that guarantee in those spots. Okay, that makes yep. sense. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. what you did was you said, hey, these are the vulnerable spots. Let's right. use it in those spots, which was a good uh, way to go in a house like this. Because mm -hmm. you may not do the entire roof, but you may just pick to do what we did here. Yeah. So. Which was the more vulnerable. That's areas. right. That's right. Well, great job, man. Absolutely. So fun. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for coming uh, down. Make sure you thank the full <laughs> fire crew for coming out to bring all the equipment and all the toys yeah. out. Hopefully those guys had some fun. I uh, got to yeah. use the equipment and, and uh, I know I had a blast watching the house just getting blasted. It's not every day you get to see that. <laughs> Pretty bomber assembly here, my yeah. friend, I got to say. Yep. Guys, if you're not currently following Will and his crew over at High Cotton, I'll link to their uh, Instagram feed. They're, they're building incredible houses uh, here outside of Granite. Granite Shoals? No, we're Florence, Alabama. Sorry. So Florence, Muscle Shoals, we're actually in Town Creek, so it's, it's all just the two county area, so it's really close. Yeah, right here on the Tennessee crew. River. Yep. Amazing people. And by the way, Will is now shooting videos over on Build Show Network, one new video a week. So make sure you go over and follow his videos on buildshownetwork.com. I'll put a link in the description to sign up for our newsletter. Every Tuesday and Friday, we'll send you an email so you can see what's happening new at Will's job sites. Big thanks to our friends at Huber for sponsoring. They've been a long time friend of the build show amazing products and fantastic people over there at huber and if you're not currently a subscriber hit that subscribe button below you know we've got new content here every tuesday and every friday follow us on tiktok or instagram otherwise we'll see you next time on the build show, build show.